Hello everyone. So in this video today, we're going to be working on a pretty simple thing, but it's very useful when you need it. We're going to be creating shapes with the pen tool. So let's not waste any time. We'll jump right into it. If you go over to the toolbar on the left, <clears throat> you can see the pen tool. Just click on that. Um, if you right click, you can see that there's a couple different options. Today, we're just going to be focusing on the main pool, uh, pen tool. And then we're going to look at the curvature pen tool as well to do some uh, curve shape but so first let's work on just doing a square or a rectangle so the first thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that we have guides in place and if you don't have those just go up to view at the top toolbar and go down to where it says rulers and you got to make sure that that's checked so when I do that it goes away when I click on it again it'll reappear so you want to make sure that you have those uh, in order to move them around, just hit V on the keyboard and you can see how you can move things around. So what I'm going to do just to make sure that we have a nice uh, squared uh, top edge is uh, I'm just going to have one ruler. So we're going to click on the pen tool and put it right on uh, the, the guide that we have laid out. Oh, sorry. And one thing that I forgot is uh, it may appear in path when you click on it. Uh, so when you click on the pen tool, there's going to be a drop down menu in the upper left hand corner where you've got shape, path, pixel. Sometimes uh, it might be in path. We want to make sure for this purpose that it is under shape. And now we can go back to putting our first point. And if you want to make sure that it's a perfectly straight square or rectangle, just hit shift, hold shift, and then click. And you see how you get a perfectly straight line. Um, if you don't, otherwise you'll get something like that. Uh, but let's do it again. Shift, and then click. Shift, click on the upper line, and then you just have to complete it. And there you go. You've got yourself a rectangle. Now, if you want to change the color of the rectangle, just go up to Fill, and we can make it blue. If you want to give it a border, go to where it says Stroke. And let's just give it this, uh, or let's do a, a black border. If you want to adjust the thickness of the border, go to the uh, number in the pixels selection right next to the stroke or border color selection there, and you can adjust the thickness. If you want to adjust the border, uh, uh, I guess, texture or, or uh, pattern, you can click on the dashed line and you get a, a dashed line kind of deal. If you want to make it a dotted line, you can do that. Let's just go back to a solid line. Now, if we want to move this shape around, just hit V on the keyboard and you can move it wherever you want. If you want to resize this shape, just hit Control T. And now you have the option to either move it around or resize it, both helpful. Just hit Enter there. and. When we get away from the original shape screen, we lose the, uh, you know, the options to change the colors. So what we can do is we can go click on the shape option on the toolbar, and then you'll see the, the fill options pop back up again. So if we want to, uh, you know, make the border a little bit smaller, you can do that. So let's just move this. We'll get it out of the way. If you want to uh, make that layer disappear temporarily. You could just go over to the layers tab or the layers section and just hit the little eyeball and it'll go away. It's not deleted. It's just temporarily off the screen. So let's go back to the pen tool to create something that's curved. So right click on the pen tool and you can see curvature pen tool. Again, make sure that it's under shape rather than path. Let's choose a, diff a different color. We'll do purple uh, and uh, if you wanted to do no border, you just click on uh, the, the white rectangle with the red line. That means transparent. So now uh, we can just do, I don't know, let's just do kind of like a, not a perfect circle, but a, a circle looking object. Just complete that. And there you go. So you've got uh, now two shapes. Let's go and bring that one back in. And... Again, we can resize it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and change the 
color of this one to blue. It looks like I accidentally changed the color of the original object to blue because I was still on that selection. Um, so let's give this one a border now. Now, uh, something interesting as well, I'll show you kind of a way to illustrate this. So if we bring that over the original shape, uh, obviously the fill of this one being blue uh, takes over the original shape because it's the top layer. If you wanted to switch them, you just move that layer and now the original shape is on top of that one. If you want to make it so that this is transparent, uh, we can go back to the shape icon on the left, go to fill and make that transparent. And now you've just got yourself a border of that circle or shape that you created and uh, you can see right through it. So um, there, there's a bunch of other things that we can do with shapes, but I think for the purpose of this video, that kind of covers what you're ultimately trying to do. And um, you know, we, we did it just as, as simple as possible and we could get into a, a more, more advanced details and settings in a different video, but just for the purposes of what this video is, that's how you create shapes with the pen tool. Thanks for watching.